All right, it's time for three minutes. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. Okay, so I just hit the timer and I'm gonna to talk to y'all for three minutes. So I actually have some things that I wanna get off my chest today. Not really get off my chest today, some things that I wanted to talk about. Um, I am I'm working on this play and one of the things, um, uh, one of the characters in the play is a religious character and there's also a character who is pretty much atheist. And I thought it would be great to try to have a little conversation between the atheist and the, and the, and the you know, Christian character. Um, just to get that debate going and I just w wasn't able to come up with anything that I wanted to have this character say that to me didn't make the character, the religious character, seem like delusional, right? Because um, what, I've, what I note in many of the arguments that I have with religious people is that the, you know, they have to resort to kind of like these, this, this, this delusional thinking, right? That, oh, it's all part of a plan. What plan? Right? Well, you know, mysterious ways. What mysterious ways? Well, uh, you know what I mean? We, you know, it's, it's all gonna be in the afterlife, right? So there's, so there's all these things, right? But one thing that struck me was, I was, well, I, to do some research, I was, I was just looking up, you know, religious, um, you know, arguments for religion, arguments for religion, or arguments against atheism, because it's really a more of an argu um, uh, argument against atheism that I'm looking at in the play. And uh, I came across an Oprah Winfrey episode that I'll link to. I think it's on. It's available on YouTube. I think that's what I, where I watched it. It's a. It's an Oprah Winfrey from the Morning Show in Chicago that I think is from the '80s. And Oprah Winfrey had some atheist on the show. And one, I was really, it was really embarrassing to see how biased um, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey can be when she believes she is thinking along the dominant cultural lines, right? The dominant cultural lines, right? If she thinks that most people are gonna agree with her, she's perfectly happy to argue for the side of the status quo. And in this episode, she argues for the side of the status quo, but worse than, than Oprah Winfrey just being a bad journalist or being a bad host on the show was listening to all of the people who are just absolutely so sure that they are right about religion and how without realizing that they are imposing their thinking on others, they're using a lot of violent language like, oh, you're gonna go to hell, or oh, you're evil, or oh, I feel sorry for you. These are, this is all very violent language. To, feel, to tell someone you feel sorry for them but, you know, it's, it's, that's violent. We know that that's an insult, right, when we say that. So to be able to speak to someone so openly in such an insulting way because you are sure that your way of thinking is correct when you have absolutely no evidence to base that on, right? It's really just a matter of your belief system versus someone else's belief system. And when it, becomes, when it comes to belief systems, you really, uh, really there's no, there's, real, there's no real arguing there, right? So that said, that's, that's all I really have to say. That's three minutes, y'all. And I hope, that that's a, I hope that that's some food for thought for y'all. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto,